Golden Doodle Sizes. If you're in the market for a new, furry addition to the family, odds are the Golden Doodle has crossed your mind. The Poodle Golden Retriever Hybrid is known for its loyalty, intelligence, and its non-shedding hypoallergenic nature, making it a favorite for many. The breed has become tremendously popular in the last few years and comes in a variety of sizes. But that also brings up an important question for dog owners. What is the ideal sized Golden Doodle for me? Generally speaking, there are three official sizes of Golden Doodles, each with its own unique set of benefits and challenges, as well as two unofficial sizes of the breed in the mini category, but we'll get to that in a second. Without further ado, here's a look at every Golden Doodle size and which one might be right for you. Starting off, we have the mini Golden Doodle size, which is any doodle under 30 pounds. Most commonly, though, the mini's around 25 pounds and a height of 16 inches when it's done growing. In general, the rule of thumb is that the smaller the dog, the less exercise they need. And this is mostly true for the Golden Doodle as well, although the breed still needs lots of exercise outside compared to some of its peers. The mini Golden Doodle requires far less space and exercise than bigger doodles, making it the perfect pick for dog lovers living in a smaller space, such as a condo, apartment, or even an RV. It's hard to believe, but the mini Golden Doodle can actually get even smaller. Within the mini category are two unofficial subcategories. The smallest called the teacup golden doodle. So how small is it? Try 11 inches tall and less than 13 pounds. For reference, that's roughly the size of a piece of paper. The teacup variation is beyond cute, but it has genetic downsides that may scare anyone looking to bring a teacup doodle home. Hypoglycemia, patella luxation, heart defects, and more all run rampant with the teacup doodle mostly due to how they were originally bred. A process in which a toy poodle and a small golden retriever's runts are bred again and again. On top of the genetic issues, this type of golden noodle comes with a hefty price tag due to their rarity and often go for $5,000 or more, not including the almost inevitable medical bills. Slightly larger than the teacup doodle is the toy golden doodle, which weighs about 20 pounds and stands at a height of about 14 inches. At about the size of a laptop, the toy golden doodle is considered the ideal mini doodle to many. This type is perfect for running around your apartment and can easily be picked up, unlike some of the larger golden doodles out there. As the name implies, the medium golden doodles are the sweet spot in terms of size, and as a result are the most common version of the ultra popular pet. This type stands at around 16 to 20 inches in height and about 30 to 40 pounds. The medium golden doodle is perfect for owners that want to ensure they will always have control over their animal, and because of their temperament, are a perfect jogging buddy without having to worry about scaring off your neighbors. On top of that, the medium doodle is very common among breeders and is a very affordable option as a result. Since there is some variation in size, I would recommend going with a female golden doodle if you want to be on the smaller end of things, and a male if you want to go a bit bigger. The standard Golden Doodle is the biggest version of the dog. But for some, that just means there's more to love. While by definition a standard Doodle is anything over 40 pounds, you're most likely looking at a dog that's going to be anywhere from 50 to 60 pounds and 22 inches tall. As it is the biggest version of the Doodle, it is going to need plenty of room to roam and a lot of exercise. Most of the people that enjoy the standard version of the Golden Doodle talk about how they enjoy the security of a large dog combined with the famous temperament of a Golden Doodle. These are great for exercising with. And so if you're an active individual with a large house and big yard, the standard Golden Doodle might be your best pick. How big will my Golden Doodle get? Golden Doodles will most likely fall somewhere in between their parents' weight. But there are certainly outliers, and so What's a good way to determine how large your puppy is gonna get? Ultimately, the Golden Doodle grows fast in the beginning, but this starts to taper off around 10 months, and so don't freak out and think you have the next Clifford the Big Red Dog too early. So what size should I get? Although preference plays a big factor here, a more important indicator is probably how much space you have in your home. Golden Doodles come from a working dog background, and so they're going to have a lot more energy than other breeds. If you live an active lifestyle and have plenty of room, go for the standard. But if you live in a small apartment or condo, then they may not be getting what they need to live a happy life. 
Also, be wary of the teacup and toy breeds since they have well-documented health issues that drastically affect their quality of life. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it helped you come to a decision about what kind of golden doodle might be right for you. If you did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It helps us a lot and allows us to reach more dog lovers out there.